Hi friends, welcome back to API tutorial with Laravel 8. Today we are going to learn about how to create our first API using Laravel. So here you can see this is the Laravel 8 application and we will going to integrate our first API using this Laravel version. So last day we have discussed about what is API, how to use API, why we are using API and how to test and this kind of things so if you don't see this tutorial you can see this and i am providing the link in my description box so for now let's create an api so basically we will create a controller and in this controller we will create some data and we will try to fetch data using the url so here i will use the postman so using a postman we will test all kind of api data okay so first create a controller so to create controller we need to write php artisan make controller suppose for testing purpose i am creating a controller suppose test api controller okay so my controller created and now go to the project directory so inside the app http controllers we will get the test api controller so here we will write a method and this method will call from web.php and after that using this link we will fetch data from postman okay so let's get a function so my function name suppose first api okay and here i am returning one statement that is response from controller okay and we will create a route inside our routes so still now when we use route we basically use our web.php okay so here we will not use web.php here we will use api.php so why we use api.php not web.php so there are some special purpose and advantage to use api.php so what are the advantage so when we learn about middleware we discussed about some features so basically web.php use the web middleware and api.php routes is using the api middleware okay and the another thing in the web middleware includes stuff like csra protection and session but api routes does not have that these are basically stateless okay so we can understand why we use api.php not web.php so i'm just closing the web.php and in the api.php we can see there is a default middleware that is auth api you're using so for this moment just ignore this code we will learn about these things when we learn about our api authentication okay so create a route suppose i'm using the get and my url is the first api okay and here i am using the test api controller so just write here test api controller and colon colon the class okay and the method name is the first api okay so just place it here inside the invert comma okay and in the laravel 8 we need to use the namespace of this controller so here the namespace is app http controllers so just use this so use app http controllers and after that the name of the controller that is test api controller okay so now if we call this first api we can get the response that is response from controller okay so as it is a get request we can get from our browser but if we use 
different type of request like post put patch so you can see this so here there are many requests so if you click on this plus icon we will get what type of request are there there is many type of request that is get post put patch delete copy okay so there are many types of request available in postman so we can test all these things but for now i am using the get request okay so we can access this from browser so if you just go to the browser and just click on this link we can access this but here i am using my routes as api.php so we need to provide the api here okay okay oh and before that uh, we need to start our server so just write php artisan serve okay so server started and just refresh this so here you can see the response from controller so the same link as it is a gate link we can get from the browser and same link if we paste in our postman and i'm using the, all the get method so just click on send and here also you will get the response from controller okay so now just create a json data and response from the controller okay so just go to the test api controller and here i will just return a json data so for now i am closing this and to create json data we need to use this parenthesis and here suppose i am using name and for name i am providing a suppose john and for email we will use suppose john at the red gmail.com so this is basically the json data so in this way we can pass this so if we just go to the postman and refresh this we can see the json formatted data okay and if you want to pass a multiple data so just copy this again and using the comma separated we can paste here and we can send multiple response so here suppose i'm changing the name that is david and here i'm changing the email also that is david at the gmail.com okay so now just go to the postman again and refresh this so here we can see the json response okay so this is basically a small api without database if you have any query about this video please comment in the comment section next day we will connect with the database and fetch a record from there and display through postman okay so for now please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video bye bye